Hey guys, good day and thanks for coming back. Hey, I want to share something with you guys that I typically do when I go out and about um, when I'm hanging out with people and strangers. And and uh, one, of th one of the things I do is to share uh, the story about Jesus. So you guys are probably familiar with this picture. It's called the Prince of Peace. It's a painting that this little girl painted when she was eight years old. I'm going to let you, um, I'm going to play a video here about her story. But I um, just want to remind everybody about the Great Commission that Jesus spoke about. He said, the day that he left the planet uh, 2,000 years ago, he said, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, and whoever does not believe will be condemned or judged. In Matthew 28, he says a similar thing. He says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in them. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. So this little girl, here's a quick little video about this, this little girl here. Welcome back. You know, we were just talking about this portrait of Jesus before the break. It's called Prince of Peace and featured in the book Heaven is for Real. You may be surprised to learn the age of the artist and her heavenly inspiration. For art prodigy Akiana Krameric, heaven has always been in the details. Her paintings, complex, just 10 years old in that video, she's now 18, and some of her paintings are worth more than a million dollars. Akiana, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you, it's an honor. So you were just four years old when you believe you started hearing voices from heaven. Yes, and it just I just came in a fa through a family that was not religious at all. Um, but when I started having, receiving these visions at four, it was just way too complex to describe them through words, and I just, the only thing I could use was colors. You started painting yeah, and absolutely. drawing, yeah. and this is the Prince of Peace, which I mentioned earlier. Yes. And, and you were only, I cannot believe this, eight years old when you painted this? I was, I was, but the image came to me ever since I was three and a half, four years old. But it was like a blurry like a f image, but it was only when I was eight years old when this, this carpenter came knocking on our door when I said, this is the perfect time to paint the story of love, unity, and peace. A carpenter, of course. <laughs> that, when I heard that, I was like, wow, okay, and that actually, makes sense. And actually, um, we did some researchers um, actually analyzed my work, and they compared the Shroud of Turin with my work, this particular painting, and they said it was almost 80 to 90 percent accurate. So if you look, if you know anything about the Shroud of Turin, this is considered to be the burial cloth of Jesus, and that when he was glorified and his literal every cells, all the cells in his body produced that uh, white light uh, from from his uh, when he became glory when he be, when he was glorified rather. I'm sorry, um, it actually burned like a laser beam on the inside and put a 3D image on the inside of the cloth. Let's go ahead and look at what she was talking about. So you can see it seems pretty accurate. You know, he is Jewish, so he does have a little bit of a nose. You can tell that. And he has green eyes. Now, uh, Colton Burpo, he's the one who, uh, the movie about heaven is so for real, that he's the one that uh, when he was four, he passed away for a short period of time when he had uh, his appendix burst. And while he was in heaven, he obviously he claims he saw Jesus. And then later, uh, about a year or two later, he saw the painting that um, that she made, and he said, "That's the guy who I saw when I went to heaven." And so it was obviously it was Jesus. So there's a second. We have two witnesses that uh, basically are making the, the claim this is what Jesus looks like, and both of them said that he has green eyes, which I find kind of interesting. So what I have done for me is I have put this I put this painting, this picture as the background on my telephone, my cell phone. And I've made a habit of um, using this as a, con a conversation starter. And it really works well with people. I mean, what I typically do, and I, I you know, encourage you guys to do it also, is I put, you know, I go up to somebody, and I just ask them, I say, hey, uh, take a look at this picture. And I show it to them really quickly. And I say, who do you think this is? And I'm telling you, practically everyone says, Oh, that's Jesus, or they'll say, "Is that Jesus?" Or they'll say, "Oh, that's Jesus." And then I'll say, "Well, have you ever seen this painting or picture before?" And they basically, most of the time, they say no. 
And I say, well, how do you know it's Jesus then? And they just say, well, it looks like him. And then I go on to talk about how the eight-year-old girl painted it. And they're generally astonished. And, and they're more than willing to talk about Jesus when you, when, you, um, when you approach him this way, as opposed to approaching him about religion. We know how that goes. So with that, guys, I'll let you go. But go ahead and do this. Make this the background on your telephone and use it as a, a conversation starter. And uh, like Jesus says, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. With that, guys, have a great day, and God bless you.